I mean, I, I, this is a really difficult, you're, George is right. I mean, we're fighting a non-state actor. Um, we've been fighting a non-state actor since 2000. Non-state actors that's morphed, that hides in the shadows, that hides among civilian populations. This is difficult. This is not easy. Nobody is suggesting this is easy. And it's, and there is, I think George is right, that there is a risk that, um, that lethal, a lethal strategy, a strategy that puts fighting first, risks backfiring. At the same time, um, there, there's also a place and a need for, for lethal strikes and for, and for engaging in, in war fighting. And I, I don't purport to have the answers. It's incredibly complicated. It's incredibly difficult. We don't historically have a great record, a track record, not the United States nor any other um, nation in the world. That said, um, Al-Qaeda core, the group that really did attack us in 9-11 has, has been decimated, and, and there has been some success along the way. Here's a, a tweet from one of our viewers putting this out there. And AUMF also is not a substitute for the declaration of war that the Constitution contemplates and mandates. Colleague Stimson, are we at war against ISIS? War is the word that the Speaker of the House used last week. Yeah, we are at war. President Obama said that uh, in his first inaugural uh, address. Uh, President Bush, of course, uh, used that terminology often. There's a big difference legally between being in a state of armed conflict, being at war, versus Article 1, Section 8, where Congress declares war. We've done that five times. Um, but international law has changed. Uh, this would be a long, boring legal discussion. If your <laughs> viewers wanted to fall back asleep, they could. Uh, but the, uh, the preferred venue today in, 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 in these types of conflict is an authorization for use of military force, not a Article I, Section 8 Congress declaring war. Do you agree, Jennifer? Yeah, absolutely. As, as Kelly just said, war has been declared five times. There's been 41 authorizations to use military force. And, and this is, for, for better or worse, this is the, the, the preferred going forward for essentially declaring war. Okay. Catherine.